Hey kids, my name is Riley and I'm going to be your substitute teacher for the day. I want... <laughs> uh, as if anybody would want this retard teaching their children. I wanted to start out today's class by talking about what is and isn't okay for you to be looking up on YouTube on the school's computers. We've heard that some kids have been looking up inappropriate content, and so we've set up a restricted mode to help you avoid all of that. So here is some of the stuff that you absolutely should not be looking up. First of all, you're not allowed to watch any videos by queer girls in a happy, healthy relationship. That Last night checked, there is still freedom of religion. So. As repugnant as it is for someone to still believe that there is any issue <clears throat> with uh, lesbian relationships, although, to be fair, with you and your girlfriend, you don't look like a girl, okay? And they're going to see the Adam's apple, and when it comes to transgender things, I don't think that the best way for them to figure out kids is to see someone like you. <laughs> They're not going to understand. Why, why do you think that you should be able to teach children about what it is to be transgender versus their parents? Do you not think that is a better discussion for them to have? No. No. I mean, the whole idea of this restriction mode is to allow parents to say, hey, you know, I don't want them seeing this. And, and you know what? It could purely be because they do want to be the ones to explain this stuff to them. And maybe they're not ready. Maybe they're just on, maybe they just were like, oh, here, watch some cat videos, okay? That, that's it. They want them to be able to enjoy the, the um, stuff on there that is not politically motive, not against the religion. Yes, it's all silly nonsense, sure. We have a right to think that and do that, but they have a right to believe it, okay? And they have a right to teach that to their kids. They just do. Again, yeah, it's fucked up and stupid, and we just, we can't infringe on that, okay? And for you two, you know, they are trying to be a site for everyone, for everyone to be able to enjoy. So that means if they make a restricted mode, then it does make sense for them to say, to uh, just say, you know what, I'm not even going to go down that fucking rabbit hole. Okay, you know, so maybe there are a few glitches or whatever, but you just gonna have to fucking suck it up and deal with it. Okay, maybe they change it. I don't know. They don't change it. I can understand. That could give you the unrealistic expectation that a queer person could ever truly be happy. And if you find yourself questioning your gender or your sexuality, don't look up any videos that might help you figure that out. Just repress it deep down in the back of your mind and try not to think about it. That will probably work out really well for you and won't negatively affect your life in any way. Also, don't look up anything that mentions racism. Because, as we all know, racism is completely over. It just doesn't exist. And it would be- Race in America is a contentious issue, okay? I mean, if, if I had a kid, thank God I don't, I want one, <laughs> but if I did have a kid, I would not choose YouTube as the source I wanted for them to learn about these things and to make their decisions about what's going on in the world and where they should put themselves on. They're all the same. I'll show you politics in America. Here it is, right here. I think the puppet on the right shares my beliefs. I think the puppet on the left is more to my liking. Hey, wait a minute, there's one guy holding up both puppets. Shut up! Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control. Here's Love Connection. Watch this and get fat and stupid. By the way, keep drinking beer, you fucking morons. Okay. That 
would be my job. That is the job of the parents to do that. Okay? I mean, do you really think that YouTube is the place just to blindly go on there? I mean, how do you know that they're going to even be on your side? How do you know that they're going to see your videos on it? Or anybody that has your point of view? You don't know, do you? That's the point of this. Okay? YouTube is not exclusively <coughs> a uh, political uh, place. That's not the only thing on there that it has to offer. Okay, so not everybody is going on there to look for those things. And not everybody is uh, allowing their kids on there because they're like, oh, this is where you should go to learn about these things. Okay? If anything, that's what school is for. And, you know, they have a sense of how things are going to be taught and what things are going to be taught. They have an idea of what that's going to be like. Um, on YouTube, they don't really know what they're going to see or what they're not going to see or how it's going to affect them. So, if it comes to these kinds of issues, anything that's political in nature... Uh, yeah, I can understand them saying, hey, you know, I don't want, I want to have a mode I can put it in, again, so I can allow my child to just watch simple, entertaining things, okay? And, and the reality is, if these kids are going through whatever, and are looking for... Uh, certain kind of content that is restricted by this mode, you can still find it. It's not that hard, okay? It's really not. Trust me, I have little brothers, and they, at a very young age, like eight, nine, they were able to find porn on the internet, okay? So, and, and yeah, and then that way, this whole thing is silly, and no, and there's really no point to it, except to, well, except, you know, in the youngest of age, right, the really young, that can barely operate the system, you know, then, okay, they're not looking for that stuff anyways, but, but you're full, <laughs> <sighs> Racism. Because, as we all know, racism is completely over. It just doesn't exist. And it would be ridiculous for you to look up imaginary things on the internet. You should also know that protests just don't exist. If you ever see footage of a protest on the internet, it's fake. We all get along really well, and there's no conflict in this country. There's also no war in Ba Sing Se. You're also not allowed to enjoy anything. Podcasts, TV shows, books, none of those things are allowed. Having fun is only for adults, and kids should never take an interest in anything that they're passionate about. And Man, you got to fucking realize it's not his idea, okay? He's not that fucking smart. <laughs> Please never try to look up anything about Muslims or anyone who has a different religion than you. We wouldn't want you accidentally thinking that maybe some Muslims aren't bad people. And of course, always remember that drinking alcohol is a great kid-friendly activity and anyone who tells you otherwise is just a liar. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little satirical video. Oh, I did. And I'm sure everyone who sees it will fucking lose their shit, fucking laugh like madmen. I have no doubt. Fucking Mark Twain. Wow, you don't have shit on that motherfucker, that's for sure. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. video um i want to be clear that everything i said in that clip was sarcastic so please don't take any of it seriously I
I never take you seriously. Acceptable. It might just be community fighting, which would be an awful way of determining which videos to hide since anybody could target any video. Yep. Well, that I agree on. Considering that uh, videos against you tend to be flagged out of existence, um, yeah, that's not a good way to go about things. Definitely agree with that. Um, <clears throat> Alright, the rest of the video is boring. Blah, 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 blah. I can only fucking stare at this gargoyle for so long. Um, <laughs> I just could not resist after watching uh, Roaming Millennials video uh, making a, uh, a <clears throat> video against Riley Dennis. It just had to happen. Um, so. Anyways, four plus as being somehow inappropriate. Being queer or identifying somewhere under the LGBT plus on video, I say the word fuck, and completely blocking all kids from seeing all LGBT plus content. However, inappropriate, and it's not for you, and won't negatively affect your life in any.